What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So the Legion Go got another GPU driver update just about a month after we got our last update, which is pretty surprising because before that we had gone five or six months, but this does bring us more up to date and also brings AMD's Fluid Motion Frames 2, which is nice to see here, but I still have some issues with it on the portrait display, maybe when I test it in some other games. But we'll take a look here at installing this, trying it out, trying Fluid Motion Frames and all that. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so first we'll take a look at getting the update. But first off, we are on that driver update we got in December, which was actually a July dated driver with the 241030 here. Um, so even when we had gotten that update, we were still pretty far behind. This one actually brings us up to date quite a bit further to December. But if you go into Legion space to update, currently at time of making this video, the GPU driver still doesn't show up there. Go check for updates here, scan for it, it won't be there. Now, if you want to wait for it to show up there, it will be here eventually for you to install right here through Legion Space. But the driver is also up and ready on their official website and it's easy to install as well. So if you don't want to wait for that, you could do that. I'm going to go into my quick access menu, the little question mark for help down here and online support. This will take us right over to the Lenovo site. I'm going to click on PC right here. We're going to do a detect product. That way it'll detect my Legion Go here. And then once we do that, we'll get right in here and be able to select manual drivers. So once we get into the main page, we're going to close this, come down here to drivers and software. And then we're going to have an option to select drivers manually. So manual update, select drivers. And then you want to find your display and video graphics right here. And now that's dated for January 24th. So another new update ready to download here on the website. So we'll click download and we'll go ahead and get this installed. All right, so once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. We'll go over to our uh, file explorer. We'll go to downloads and we'll go ahead and just start installing that. So I'm just going to double tap and we'll be able to go through the process. Click yes. It does take a couple of minutes. We'll click OK. We'll agree. Click next and we're going to do install, not extract only. So we'll do next install and then it's going to do its thing all the way through pretty much until it gets finished which is a process that goes through a few different screens your screen's going to flash on and off and that type of thing but once it's done it'll say it's successfully installed here so we'll be able to click ok finish but before and before we restart because i always like to restart on a new driver go right into the microsoft store and go to your downloads over here and if the new update for AMD Adrenaline isn't showing up already, go ahead and click Get Updates, and it should pop up. This is how you always need to update your AMD Adrenaline software, even if you install the driver through Legion Space. You still need to come here right afterwards and get that. Now we're going to restart the device, and once that's done, I'm going to open up the new Adrenaline software, and we'll see our new driver installed here. So remember, we had that 7 uh, July driver before. Now we've got a December dated, December 12th, 2024 the 24.20.2601 driver here for AMD. So it is a bigger update. It brings us much closer to up to date than the last one did and pretty quickly this time. And we do have AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 in here now and it does activate and work on the device. And we'll take a look at that here in a minute. But first I had some game performance to look at before and after the update on the left side, the before, right side after. And in Final Fantasy Rebirth anyway, and this game just runs rough on every PC I try it on. I'm actually pretty disappointed in this port, but I do enjoy the game itself. But it definitely runs worse on this newer driver. The side load driver, the official driver from AMD that just came out, actually has a, a fix for this game. and It might run better that way, but on the official driver here, so far everywhere I go, it does get a little bit less performance now than I was getting, which is unfortunate because I am doing the gameplay video for this on the go and other devices now as well. When I go over to Cyberpunk though, and I've already checked a couple of other games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider and some others, there was zero difference. No difference in the performance for the most part at all. So I imagine just like any driver update, some games will do better, some will be the same, and some like Final Fantasy might play worse. And again, if you want to sideload the official AMD driver, which I have videos for that on the channel, and we'll probably check out the new one as well, apparently it has a fix for Final Fantasy to make it run better, but I haven't checked it out myself yet. All right, so back over on the desktop here, again, you can now activate and use Fluid Motion Frames 2 on here. It has anti-lag and all of that. I also like to have my hotkeys set up through Legion Space to activate that stuff. If I go to my gear icon and preferences here, you can enable the in-game overlay, but it is broken on here, so I'm not going to be using it in the video. It still doesn't work right, but my Legion overlay and my MSI overlay work fine. 
So here's the hotkeys I want to set up. Mostly it's going to be for the overlay just because I like it, but also for AMD fluid motion frame. So I can turn that on and off easily, which is that alt shift G you see down there. So I'm going to go to Legion space controllers, button mapping, and then game profile up here from my gamepad, view and edit layout, rear view right here. And you'll see on the left side, I already have those two programmed in. Uh, all you have to do is touch the one that you want to program in. You can pick anything you want here, but we're doing those key combinations for Adrenaline. So I'll go to key combination and you just put in the combination you need for the hotkey you want out of Adrenaline or whatever software you may be wanting the hotkey. And there you go. Just hit Y to keep that and it would save it on that button for you. And then it's easy to toggle those things on and off. So this makes uh, AMD fluid motion frames easy for me to turn on and off in game here. Now I'm going to activate the Legion Space Overlay because it'll show the fluid motion frames uh, frame rate while my MSI Afterburner will just show the base game frame rate here. And it's not perfect. I didn't get a chance to move my overlay. But again, the AMD Adrenaline Overlay is broken on here and hasn't been working properly. But as you can see here, we're matched up with the two different overlays there for our FPS. No um, fluid motion frames yet. I'm going to go ahead and click my button to activate that and turn it on. Now you'll see it says that it's active. And you'll see the Legion Space Overlay double in frame rate. So it does work on here, but I'm still just not really impressed. I've tried it in a few games here, and I feel like lossless scaling is working better on this portrait display than Fluid Motion Frames 2 is. It does now activate and work properly. It doesn't seem to break my Legion Space Overlay or MSI Afterburner. Um, and maybe it will be kind of game dependent on how good it is, but it's pretty janky. And I'm not really finding it that great to use in a lot of the games, even at capped frame rates. It's It just hasn't been... Uh, real great for me, but again, that can be kind of game dependent. We'll have to test it some more, and maybe I'll compare it to lossless scaling as well, and maybe the side loaded driver. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth here running. We can also activate fluid motion frames. It doesn't really hurt our performance a lot. We don't lose a lot of base frame rate, and it does double the frames here, as you can see in the space overlay. But again, just like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it's pretty janky. It's not a very smooth experience on here, and I just would rather be at the lower base frame rate without that turned on and it, it feels better even if i lock the frame rate to 30 here so that we have a 60 fps it's the same experience v-sync on or off i've tried everything it's still just kind of a, a janky bit of a mess on there i don't know if that's just because we're still on a portrait display or what but that was kind of my experience but i'm not a big user of uh amd's fluid motion frames a lot in these games anyway i prefer in-game frame gen when it's available so but yeah at least it does work on here now and we're able to mess around with it and we'll try it in a bunch of different games. I'm definitely happy to see Lenovo giving us updates quicker. I think this has to do with their new Legion Go S devices that have started shipping already, and I'll be getting mine in a couple of weeks to try here on the channel. Those have landscape VR displays, which I think will be a much better experience when it comes to like this driver and fluid motion frames too. So I am really looking forward to checking that out soon when that device comes in, and hopefully we have these newer drivers on there. But it's also nice to have them here, and hopefully we'll get another update and continued fixes and again, you can always sideload the AMD driver if you really need to fix a game like Final Fantasy or something like that. But I am happy to see I'm making the updates here. Happy to see Fluid Motion Frames 2 working, even if I'm not a big fan of it so far in these games. And hopefully they'll keep bringing us the updates. So anyways, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.